there are <laughs> hordes of people and golf carts and vendors. Um, but if you put all that aside, Well, I've made a tough choice. Good morning. We've woken up here at our Bedouin camp and we're going to go grab a quick breakfast here at the camp and then head to Petra. Obviously there's a famous movie that was filmed, at least part of it was here. And if you would like any Indiana Jones swag, they have a dedicated Indiana Jones gift shop just for you. We're just making it to the treasury where it opens up to this beautiful carving. We made it to the treasury. It's a pretty impressive walk. There are <laughs> hordes of people and golf carts and vendors. Um, but if you put all that aside and just try to take in the scenery and how ancient this is, it's so cool. Even though it's called the treasury, it's actually a tomb. They found several things of evidence. There's like slots for bodies. They had other things that had been raided because it was a tomb. So it was empty, but all of the structure inside suggests that it's a tomb. I hope that donkey's okay. They just have something to say. The thing that I'm realizing is that most of the time what we see of Petra is really just the treasury and there's so much more here to explore. It was basically, a, not basically, it was an entire city of people living here as well as the tombs. So we're in the Petra Great Temple. This is just really cool, expansive. It has all these colonnades and then some super cool views from of the tombs, like from afar. But this was excavated as recently as 1992. And it was actually excavated by Brown University's archeologists. You can just really like feel the space and how well it's just been preserved. We thought the monastery was much further. It's only about an hour away. So we're gonna fuel up, get a lunch at 10.30, and then keep heading out. It's a little warm, so kind of like refuel, and get on our way. Mm. Orange juice is actually orange juice. It's not packed full of other things. Super fresh, has a pomegranate juice. Mouthful of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the falafel sandwich is good. It's so good. I mean, we watched him squeeze it. It was. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> what do you want me to say after lunch? We're off to the monastery. <laughs> yeah, we're off to the monastery. A slow pace, a post lunch pace. Sounds brutal, though. We're making our way up. Just like so far, just straight stairs up. But it's amazing how the crowds really fall off. Because we're all by ourselves at this point. Hello! 
doing, Amanda? I'm tired, I'm feeling it. It's definitely hot, there's not that much shade, but people coming down say it's worth it. We're gonna keep going. After a hard and hot hike up to the monastery, we've made it. And this is one of the largest monuments in all of Petra. Uh, and what's interesting is that it got its name because after its original use, uh, Christians kind of took over it as a chapel and ended up car carving crosses into the back wall. So while not originally a monastery, that is now what it's called. Needed some treats. Well, Refreshments. <laughs> Systems are depleted. We made it back. The way down was way better than the way up. It seemed like it went really fast and not nearly as hot. I don't even think we took one water break. Nope. So we're gonna go explore some more, see where the day takes us. So next up is going to be the Royal Tombs. We are gonna spend, I don't know, maybe an hour doing this little side hike. It takes you all the way up to a bunch of different tombs. We'll see what they're all about. We're headed to the high place of sacrifice. We're supposed to have some good views of the overall city so taking a breather and then we'll be on the way one thing i was not prepared for coming here the elevation change and the amount of steps we've gone up my total horizontal steps on the day is up over 18,000. i bet our vertical steps are, are over 10,000. I've made a tough choice. My knee kind of has been bothering me for the last half hour to an hour. So I've let Amanda keep going. She's gonna go see this place, the high place of sacrifice. And I'm gonna wait and just kind of make my way down. Kind of call it in terms of steps. So I can do walking just fine. It's the up and down that's killing me. something that's been bothering me for the last few weeks. I've been doing some stretches and strength workout stuff to, to strengthen everything going on there, but I've been a little lax so far on this vacation. Man, does that little speck in the middle there. She, I don't even know how much further she has to go. the end of the day and there's like a lack of energy so yeah I can't really talk well I made it down got myself a little little treat and now I just wait for Amanda we've been reunited we've been reunited <laughs> where are your walking shoes we made already We are exhausted after a very long day, amazing day, walking around Petra. So we're gonna go try and find some food across the street, hopefully at Movenpick, the hotel right across the street from here. I'm very excited about it. Okay. 
had a lovely dinner there. Amanda had a great idea of going into the five-star hotel across the street <laughs> that we were not staying at. And we seeing didn't if... say we were staying there. <laughs> no, we, we just asked, asked if, if we, could eat at the we asked if they if they had a restaurant, and they said yes. And it was exactly what we needed. So now we're back at our camp, and we're just wandering around a little bit, getting our own little mini Petra by night, as they have all sorts of lights walking around the area. So that's going to be it for an amazing trip to Jordan. So be sure to hit subscribe to find out where in the world we go without Carmen next.